Hey everyone, in today's episode of Fire Trail, I wanted to just share with you the a, one holiday gift that I hear get thrown around, especially in commercials, that drive me absolutely crazy. You may have seen this commercial. I know you've had because it is always around this time of year where they play it nonstop. You see the commercials of a couple, usually one of the spouse is, you know, is trying to surprise the other spouse, the other significant other. They're, they're hiding and, you know, covering their eyes and they say, all right, come with me to the driveway. All right, open your eyes now. And lo and behold, a brand new Lexus, a brand new Mercedes, a, a brand new GMC truck is right in the driveway and say, Happy holidays, sweetheart. I, I bought you a brand new car and everybody's so excited and it's so wonderful. And in my mind, I'm just thinking, how crazy is that? If that were to, I know it's a commercial, but I know for a fact this happens on in real life. And to me, that just completely blows my mind. And here's why. Okay, first and foremost, I have nothing against people buying cars, buying brand new cars, buying luxury cars as a gift for loved ones or gift for whatever. If you have the money, listen, Kara, if you have the money and you can pay cash, that's the keyword. If you can pay cash for these vehicles and you want to show your love and appreciation for someone and just gift it to them more power to you i think that's incredible i think that's amazing okay but what is not amazing and this falls for 99.9 percent .9 of the people that these commercials are targeting is that hey buy these vehicles and they're usually these luxury vehicles the bmws the lexus the mercedes the gmc's and they're selling eighty ninety thousand dollars cars on these commercials and they're saying take out a five six seven year loan for these eighty ninety thousand dollars cars and buy it for a loved one for christmas now you may say like hey what what is the big deal you know if somebody wants to take out a loan for a car to buy for their wife or buy for their kids what's the big deal well here's the big deal it's not really a gift then is it right and i want you to think about it this way okay number one when you give something to someone it should be with no obligation on their part to have a financial obligation okay so let's say you take out a five six seven year loan on your new mercedes and you say all right i'm gonna sign this note i'm buying this mercedes for my wife I got I just took out an eighty thousand dollar car loan or right, I'm gonna surprise her on Christmas Day and she's surprised oh wow it's a brand new Mercedes but then come January she received a, a, a letter in the mail from Mercedes finance department and it says your monthly payment of how much two thousand dollars is that really a gift if your family if she has a part in paying for that two thousand dollar car payment what about the kids if you gift your kid a new car and say hey, here you go I, I see this not just in the christmas commercials but for graduation when may comes around the graduation commercials of kids getting a brand new car for high school graduation on the way to college here's your brand new honda here's your brand new toyota off to college you go now, is that really a gift if the kid ends up with the monthly payment? I don't think so. Okay, so that's my biggest pet peeve of these commercials. They make it sound like it's a gift, but it's not really a gift if the recipient ends up having a part in paying the monthly bill, the monthly car loan. And number two, buying such a large expensive item like a car it's an emotional decision it, 
meaning like you want to pick the right car with the right specs with the right everything if you're going to spend 50 60 70 thousand dollars on it so for you to go and buy something without that person the recipient having you know to pick out every little detail that they would like that is very risky because it's not like you buy something from walmart or amazon and you know it doesn't fit your fit you just right it doesn't match your needs anymore it, you know it's not what you thought it would be and you just return it go to the ups store and just return it and ship it back to amazon no once you drive out the dealer lot they don't care if your spouse doesn't like it. they don't care if your kid doesn't like it it's yours now for the next five six seven years and if you were to quote unquote get rid of it you're going to take a depreciation loss what 10 15 20 percent depending on the model so that is a huge risk to buy something that big without the direct input from the recipient especially if that recipient recipient's going to be responsible for paying the monthly bill okay and number three here's the big here, here's something that people need to consider buying a car especially brand new at, at that type of pr price point it's not just the monthly payment and i spoke in length about this in a previous video there are also monthly and annual reoccurring costs associated with these types of vehicles imagine the oil change for a bmw a mercedes a gmc that's very different from the cost of an oil change for a toyota corolla or a, or a honda accord right buying tires for a Mercedes, for a BMW, it's a lot more expensive than buying tires for a Toyota Camry, right? These things you have to budget for. Insurance, it's another example. Car insurance for a Mercedes, BMW, Lexus, or these type of high-end vehicles, it's extremely expensive, especially if they're brand new and extremely especially if you're financing it compared to a used vehicle, the recipient might be grateful. Let's say you did pay the $70,000, $70, right? And the $50,000, $60,000, and there is no monthly car payment. But the annual maintenance costs might not be sustainable for the recipient due to their financial situation. So you have to take that into consideration. Okay, well, I just wanna share that with you because these commercials are constantly playing on TV right now. And I just wanted you to be aware of it. And if you have the impulse to buy a brand new car for a loved one, please consider these three points. Have a wonderful day.